you doing? Kit, lovely to meet you. Melanie. How's it going? Good. You alright? I am. Yeah. I am. How's it going with you? I'm okay. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Welcome to London. I know. I l I've been to London before, but this has been a special trip. I like been, I like this trip. But it's so oh, yeah. like dreary right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I feel like with London weather, it can be hit or miss. Like sometimes we're yeah. like, oh, it's going to get snow and then it's going to be rain. But Because last time I came, it was in May. So it was like spring. It was like really pretty. It was like green everywhere yeah. and little shops and flowers. And now I'm just like... Uh, it's just like raining and foggy, but I still like being here. What brought you here last time? Um, oh, this is this is gonna be controversial. Oh, I on. was actually excited when Meghan Markle got married to Prince Harry. There's nothing wrong with that. And so I came out here. I'm not a fan anymore. So oh. I was, but I'm not. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they Why slipped. Not? Did you see the South Park episode? No, I don't watch South Park. You haven't seen? It's all over the internet. No, I'm a oh. more in person kind of guy. I'm a bit off the internet a little bit. You need to look this up on YouTube. Really? Like Why? people breaking it down. You didn't see the worldwide privacy well, tour? You, you tell me what it was. I can't even. It's so fun. Like, I don't even want to give it away because I want you to have the laugh. Like, I will okay. take away the moment. You're for thinking me. of me? I, I am. Appreciate I don't want to take. Like, I hate when I people just it. tell me everything. They're like, this was the most amazing thing. And then they tell me everything that happened. I'm just like, then I'm kind of like, when I go into it, I don't get the moment. So. Okay. So, what kind of things do you like to watch? I mean, it just switches. It, like, it depends on, like, sometimes I'm watching cooking stuff. Sometimes I'm watching tutorials. Sometimes I'm watching podcasts. It's okay. just like... You ever been to theater? What, like, a, like Broadway? Like, yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really? went to the theater here. I saw Aladdin here in London. Sick. Last time I was here. You, um, I'm doing Bonnie and Clyde at the moment. Really? Yeah, in the West End, yeah. I'll get you a ticket. You Wait, come. you're an actor? I'm an actor. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah want, a lot I of my friends actor are actors. I won Best Actor last year. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Okay, so all right, so you you're at, you, you're in a, a a show right now. Yes. But you also do movies or show TV. Yeah. So I do TV and film, voiceover, radio, theater. Ah, okay. You said you won an award. Yeah. So one of my films last year, I won Best Actor for it. From where? Like what? I'm confused. Like what <laughs> film? Uh, it's called Akoni, and it's about um, a young Nigerian refugee who his his village are attacked by Boko Haram, like a terrorist group. And he flees and seeks refuge in Sydney, Australia, meets this Australian model, and it's kind of a gritty love story between them both. So I had like the press tour for it last year, and then um, we had the awards, and then I was at the Actor Awards because it, nom it got nominated for Best Indie Film. Um, and yeah. yeah Which awards? Good. Like, because, you know, in the US, I know, like Cannes Film Festival, the, like Course. different things like that. Yeah. What is, is, it, is it like here in the UK? Uh, so it's coming, it's going to screen here in a few months. Uh, but the awards were in Australia, so it's the Australian Screen Industry Network Awards, which I won Best Actor for, and then wow. the Actor Awards. It got nominated for Best Film, which is like the Oscars, but Australia. Congratulations, because I know how, a lot of my friends are actors, because um, I used to live in New York, and oh, yeah. um, and so I know the difficult road it is being an actor, and when you finally like make it, it's just like. You yeah, can like nice. breathe a little bit, you know, because otherwise it's it's struggle. Like I know how difficult it can be. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, I heard you doing a couple of voice stuff earlier, which hey. is why I asked you, are you a voice actress or what? No, I'm just weird. You're just I'm weird? I'm just a weirdo. And we'll I have that. like different voices in my head and sometimes they just escape. I try to keep them down, but then they're just well, like... Well, you'd fit in with actors because we'll, we'll... But play. that's why a lot of my friends are actors. Okay. Because okay. I'm eccentric like yes, you guys. I hear that. I but hear you that. know, two eccentric people like actors, they don't really get along well. Like, why do you say that? Like only one person can be... Center of attention. Only, not center of attention, but only one person can be actors. Y'all know, y'all look crazy. I think it depends. Y'all look crazy. Yeah, I think, and only one I of us can be crazy. crazy. Only I, one I of agree. us can be crazy in this But situation. I think there's a difference in, like, if you're going to say theater actors to, like, screen actors are a bit different. Okay. As in, like, I feel like screen actors are more, they're more chilled. Whereas if you, like, go to musicals, I mean, if you say you've seen Broadway, they're very eccentric. Um, I'll probably say I'm quite chilled in comparison to a lot of my colleagues. But so. you do both. I do both. So are you eccentric or would you say you're more chill? I think I'd say I'm versatile. That means that means you present first, very chill. Then when somebody gets to know you, you turn up. That's what we say in the U.S. You turn up. You well, get I, would, lit. I would say it's one. I'm one of those people that you don't really see me come in. I don't need to say what I'm going to do. I'll just kind of really. Yeah, I think so. you just show up. Yeah, you just like I did today. I just showed up. I was like, I don't even know what this is for. <laughs> I was like, what well, are we here? Same thing for me. They just sprung this on me yesterday. Oh, you so didn't was, even know? No, I did not know I was going to date, do a dating show. I had no idea. How's it going so far? 
you know, you're the second one. It's been great. I'll I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm having a good conversation. Thanks. I what do you? want to ask you one thing. Uh-huh. What's one thing you look for in a man that's like a non-negotiable for you? Oof. That's a tough one. There's a couple of things that are non-negotiable. But if I had to pinpoint one. Just the one. I would say he has to be very masculine. Like in mm. terms of, you know, knowing. I, I can't deal with a weak man. Mm. Um, just I mean, because I know like my own nature, like it will, I will lose respect. Like if he doesn't know how to check me, how to just behave like a grown man. Like yeah. I'm not into. If you don't respect him, you can't love him. I, yeah. And for me, I feel like respect is love. Mm, you know, amen. like a woman can love you, but if she doesn't respect you, like. She, she won't choose you. Yeah. It's just like, ah, eh, he's a friend. That's why guys get friend zone. Like, well. So you have to have sexual attraction. So yeah. sexual attraction plus respect, and I think a woman will fall for a man. Do so. you have like a physical type then? Out. Ooh, damn, that was that was so quick. That, that felt so, so quick. It wasn't it? Well, thank Five you so minutes. much. Okay, nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. All right.